let's talk about dog safety etiquette, respecting boundaries, and respecting a dog's personal space. I just got out of hospital. I went in for a procedure today. I had an endoscopy done. I'm chronically ill. I already have other chronic illnesses going on. And I have a cardiac alert service dog. This is Maya. Mm, It gets good. Hang on. Okay, so I have to go in to have this endoscopy. My mother brings me. And um, obviously, you know, when you're having a procedure, you can't have your service dog in the procedure room with you. So my mom kept Maya in the waiting room with her, which is acceptable, that's fine, and that is completely normal. My dog did what she was supposed to do. And my mom would not have had to tell Maya a single command if they had been left alone. So what ended up happening is there was this girl there with her dad, the mom was having a procedure, the the kid had been in the waiting room all day, Well, she wanted to stay in my dog's face. According to my mom, it was to the point where my mom was trying to get this kid to stop. My mom could tell that my dog was uncomfortable. My mom told me she kept trying to avoid her where, you know, the girl was in her face. And Maya just kept trying to, like, turn her head the other way and would lay her head down. Maya was exhibiting complete avoidance. She was uncomfortable. She was not comfortable with this kid that she doesn't know in her face long time so my mom you know Maya has her little blanket she gets cold this gives her you know her little spot to you know lay on in the hospital or whatever my mom moves her under the chair and so gets Maya to go under the chair Um, she wasn't in the way but my mom was trying to make it harder for the kid to get to her the kid still continues to climb under the chairs to get to Maya and was also in my mom's face like what are you doing what are you doing like it was bad meanwhile the dad's not doing anything the dad makes a comment about how their dog has bit her in the face three times I wonder why don't ever be in a dog's face my mom tried so hard to keep this kid away she ended up having to just walk out with Uh, Maya and go to a completely different waiting room to get away from it. Why is my cardiac alert service dog being put through a situation where she is uncomfortable? That's unnecessary. That didn't have to happen. Thank God my dog is who my dog is because a lot of other dogs would have already bit that girl in the face. She shouldn't have had to deal with this kid like this today. It's not okay.